smell something good. Hey, Ronnie. <laughs> hey, who? Hey. <laughs> I got breaking beer news for you. And it turns out... Don't break beer. ...that two beer brands are booming while the rest are going flat. I call BS. What beers are they? We'll be right back with those beers next on Men Are So Smart. It is not all bad news in the sluggish U.S. beer market, sure. Consumers are drinking less brew, increasingly swapping out mainstream brands like Coors Light and Bud Light for wine, bourbon, tequila, or hard seltzer. Even the craft beer craze has uh, slowed. But while many drinkers shift away from lager and ale, two brands are bucking the trend, Ron. Michelob Ultra and Modelo Especial. Okay, I've had them both. Okay. Yeah, they're all right. Uh, okay, then I'll give you my uh, opinion. I think that the Budweiser, I'm sorry, the Michelob Ultra light beer is delicious. Hmm. The taste, I believe, is very, very good. I do enjoy a Modelo Especial. Uh, in some of the studies that we're about to share with you in this article, they will mention the Negra flavor as well. Not a fan. Yeah, that's. that's I, I'm sure that's very dark. It is very, and I'm not a fan of the dark almost, beers. Almost chewy, kind of sometimes. All right. So a key factor yeah. is that both labels are slightly more expensive than the market-leading light beers. That enables them to benefit from the shift towards premium products that's driving growth across the food and beverage landscape from coffee and chocolate to cheese and whiskey. Hmm. People are drinking less, but they're drinking better, says Ken Shea, an analyst at Bloomberg Intelligence. It's quality over quantity. Michelob Ultra, which has less than 100 calories in a 12 ounce bottle, is also getting a boost from the health and wellness trend, while Modelo, a Pilsner-style Mexican lager, benefits from the cachet associated with imported beer and a recent expansion of its U.S. distribution. So here is a look at what's driving growth for the two brands, and we'll start with Michelob Ultra. Okay, so this low-calorie, low-carb beer has become one of the top-selling brands in the U.S., with sales surging more than 80% in 2014. Yeah, they do Holy a cow. lot of marketing. Uh, they finished last year at $4.68 billion, according to uh, Euromonitor. That's come mostly at the expense of mass market light beers, Coors Light, Miller Light, Bud Light, what have you, that have long dominated the US market. Made by Anheuser-Busch, Michelob Ultra has positioned itself as a brand for drinkers leading active lifestyles who also like to unwind with friends. It's very uh, effective. The brand is more popular with women oh. than competing beers, and its sponsorship of events like the New York City Marathon, that's great marketing yeah. for what they're doing, the target audience, have resonated with increasingly health-conscious U.S. consumers. Yeah, it's a product that reaches people who are looking for balance in their lives, combination of active and social. Uh, you know, I have seen a lot recently of Michelob Ultra commercials mm -hmm. on TV, especially during football and sports programs. They're all over Facebook too, Ronnie. Uh, you can see in the graph that we're showing here, uh, the breakdown for 2014, 15, 16, and 17 is separated by the colors black, red, blue, and green. And you can see um, how... Modelo and Michelob Ultra are, in fact, gaining on the American drinkers. Yep. It might sound a bit counterintuitive, but Michelob Ultra is riding the same health and wellness trend that's propelled gluten-free and organic food products. It was funny. I was telling a, somebody at work the other day, I think it was Joe at Trico, I was telling him how you said that it's going to be funny that one day we're going to find out that gluten is the thing that holds everybody's knees together. 
in the year 2030, no one's going to be able to walk because they've all been living a gluten-free gluten -free. lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> their kneecaps fell down. They're down their chins. The brand hit shelves in 2000. That's funny, Ronnie. That's why everybody loves you. The brand hit shelves in 2002 and was originally pitched at the active boomers, older drinkers trying to cut down on calories. That came as the Atkins diet was pushing U.S. consumers away from carb-heavy products like bread, pasta, and beer. Yeah, then the wellness trend took off as a gener generation of foodies started obsessing over ingredient labels. Nearly 20 years later, Michelob Ultra's biggest selling point is still found in its nutrition facts. 95 calories, 2.6 grams of carbs. A standard Budweiser or Bud Heavy has 145 calories and more than 10 grams of carbs. That's quite significant. Yeah. You know, and if you're just having one beer, I don't think it's really going to affect you one way or another. But no. if for some reason it's Friday or Saturday night or something, you're going out and you have six, well then, yeah. That's uh, you know, that's, that's the thing um, with drinking beer. You know, I don't ever drink beer to get drunk and here's why after about five beers i'm full yeah i'm full yeah they start i getting, don't want anymore start getting a little heavy yeah exactly earlier this year anheuser bush launched michelob ultra pure gold as you see which is made with organic grains and packs just 85 calories and two and a half grams of carbs the new product will surpass 100 million in sales this year and is also overperforming with women. That's a key stat as the beer giant tries to boost overall consumption in the U.S., which has basically been flat see, uh, since 2012. That that's the thing is they're seeing increasing uh, numbers of wine drinkers. Right. And I don't have facts to show you, but I'd be willing to bet if I were a wagering man that uh, they're trying to coerce women who are big wine drinkers to come away from we uh, wine and move over to beer, and that's where they're marketing yep. the um, ultralight. Yep. So Now this next, Modelo. Mm -hmm. Here's kind of what uh, what's happening. I really them. enjoy the taste. I, I like Modelo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's not bad. Um, my buddy Grant always has a Modelo at his house when we're there. Uh, produced by Constellation Brands, Modelo has one key thing in common with Michelob Ultra. It's more expensive than the mainstream market leaders. On average, Modelo costs about 25% more than Bud Light or Coors Light, and that's appealing to customers who want to trade up, according to Jim Sabia, Chief Marketing Officer at Constellation. Modelo's sales have more than doubled since Constellation, which has distributed the label in the U.S. for years, took ownership back in 2013. They hit $5.22 billion last year, including the darker Negra Modelo, that comes as Constellation has tripled the marketing budget for the brand, pushing it beyond its core Hispanic base to a national audience, including with advertisements during National Football League, Ball League games. About 50% of Modelo's growth in recent years has come from increased distribution. That's interesting. Yeah. Increasing distribution is driving sales. Hmm. That makes sense. I guess. Uh, and Modelo Especial has posted double-digit growth each year since arriving in the U.S., according to the company. When President Donald Trump was elected, in part of this promise to cut down on illegal immigration from Mexico, there was concern about a consumer backlash against Mexican brands. I thought about that. Yeah, that really, that hasn't mean, uh, materialized for Modelo, which saw uh, sales jump, actually, more than 20% <laughs> last year. Companies getting a boost from demographic trends as the Hispanic population with drinks about 70% of the Modelo consumed in the U.S. continues to grow. Yeah. I guess that wall is not going to keep the beer out. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to build it. <laughs> While the company has been advertising on Spanish language television for about a decade, it only started running English ads in the past three years. Like Michelob Ultra, Modelo has been taking share from the market-leading brands as it reaches more consumers beyond its traditional core Hispanic customers. That's why we're so bullish on the brand, Greg Gallagher says. He's Modelo's vice president of brand marketing. Good for you, Greg. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know what? Like I said, Modelo I've had recently, it's, it's all right. I'm, I'm really, man, I know I've said this a couple times on the show, but that 805 beer that we were introduced to at mm -hmm. Stingrays, mm -hmm. 
I don't see anything. I don't see any reason to drink anything else. Well, you know, if if a place and not everybody carries it, that's the only thing. Everybody carries Modelo. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure that you could go to any restaurant and they have Modelo beer. Sometimes, if I'm out of beer at home, um, and I know it, and I don't want to have to stop at a grocery store to buy a big pack of MGD, which is my usual beer. I stop at an AM PM gas station and they put these 24 ounce Modelo's in a three pack. Oh, perfect. And they price pointed at like $8 for oh, three. That's not bad. And it is delicious. If they have a lime there, what I like to do, and, and you know what, I'm going to, this is a little uh, beer FYI for you. If you like to have lime with your Mexican beer, and, and I do, I, I enjoy it with a Corona or whatever, don't put the lime in the beer. You don't know where the outside of that lime has been, how yeah. many germs and whatever, God only knows what's on there. Just take your lime and squeeze it over the opening of the can right. and then throw the lime away. And that's what I do with my Modelo's. And I got to tell you, so delicious when they're cold, Ronnie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, I'm not trying to coerce you into becoming a beer drinking guy. You, you At this point in your life, you do whatever you want to do. But I don't think you're a drinking beer at exactly the right temperature. Uh, I think if you, after a long day's work, and I know you don't have very many of those anymore. Right. But after, a, maybe out in the yard, okay? Yes. You're working out in the yard all day. Go. If you've got that beer, like, let's say, let me give you an example. Let's say that at four o'clock you're about to mow the lawn and okay. it takes you about 45 minutes or so to do it. Right. About four o'clock you take those Modellos and you put them in your freezer. Ooh. Okay. Go on out there, mow that lawn, work up a ladder, mm -hmm. yep. and then come back at five o'clock and grab one of those beers, open it up, squeeze a little lime in there, and then you tell me that is not the best beer that you've ever had. I will tell you this, that if once beer reaches room temperature, it's almost undrinkable. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but you want you don't want a beer sickle. Okay. That's right. why. Right. Uh, and, and, and see, look, I've done the work for you. <laughs> really. I know. I know how long to put them in the freezer. There's some science here. Trust me. Years <laughs> of experience. So about an hour is the perfect temperature. And you don't get ice in the beer. It doesn't right. ice over. And you, that, whatever that is, that temperature, and I haven't tested it, but whatever that is, that's the perfect temperature for beer. Ah. Oh, it's making me so thirsty right now. It's way too early for a beer. I don't know. And this is only slightly off subject, but do you watch Last Man Standing? Yeah, of course. Okay. So on the, I just watched a rerun of an old show last night where Tim's wife hired a housekeeper. Oh, yeah, couple, the Hispanic housekeeper. A couple days a week, mm -hmm. and he was not really down with it. He, mm -hmm. he was not thinking it was a great idea. And then she came out, her name is Blanco, and she comes out and she says, Mr. Tim, I have a beer for you. And, it's, and he goes, is that in an iced mug? <laughs> and she, oh, yes. And so, oh, well, thank you, Blanco. And he goes and he grabs it and he sits down. And just the look on his face, he really sold it. Yeah. And that really is true. I know my buddy, Grant, he always keeps iced mugs in his freezer. Yeah, they're great. They're uh, awesome. And it is. it Because like I said, for me, I'm not a huge beer drinker. But once it even just reaches room temperature, I'm done. You know, a lot of times, in fact, uh, we're going out tomorrow uh, for our Christmas luncheon. And if I'm going to be at a place for... A length of time, you know, maybe two hours uh, at a bar or a restaurant a bar, um, I will tell the server, look, you know, I'm probably going to have three of these beers. Um, could you put those glasses on ice for me? Oh, wow. And I tell them ahead of time. And you know what? Here's the thing. You're not, they're almost certain you're not being a pain in the ass. Right. They think to themselves, you know what? This guy is asking me to do this for him. He gets it. And he's going to tip me right. for going the extra effort. Yep. That's the only reason he's asking me. So, And that's what I do. 
I tip. I don't ever want Lou Gallagher to be known as the guy that didn't leave a nice tip. I don't need that, okay? But honestly... Unless the beer is warm. Yeah. Well, you don't want to do that either. Right. Yeah. But um, So there's an idea. Uh, always have an ice glass on hand and have yourself an ice cold Modelo. Mm, 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 or Michelob Light. You yeah. know, maybe after a workout. Maybe... Um, after you've done uh, some cardio. Yeah, low carbs. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that's going to do it for this episode of Men Are So Smart, another beer episode. We're kind of famous for these. We kind of lean that way a little yeah, bit. We do. Well, it's a show for men. Yeah. Well, men like beer. Yeah. And evidently, women like Anheuser-Busch uh, Ultra Light. M Michelob Ultra, yeah. Michelob, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yep. Right. Who knew? The trend. Uh, okay, all the information on either one of us you'll find below our social media, our uh, website, our sponsors, and uh, there's a place for you to leave comments, suggestions, concerns, whatever you might have. We respond to them. We reply as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, I can assure you that if you send me a message, I get it on my phone. If I'm driving, it ain't going to happen. Right. Okay. Yep. It's going to wait till I get home, but I will get back to you. Okay. It's just so you know. Uh, all right, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ryan. And that'll do it for this episode of Men Are So Smart. Have a great 2019. Yes. Bye-bye.